What's up guys? In this video, what I wanna do is show you how I like to approach mixed numbers. And it might be a little bit different than maybe what you have taught, but from what I have found when students are working with mixed numbers, by approaching mixed numbers in a certain manner can really make the difference if you're gonna get the problem right or wrong. And even sometimes this approach might seem like it's a little bit more work. I think conceptually, I prefer to understand mixed numbers in this fashion rather than trying to keep them always in the mixed number format. So the way that I like to approach mixed numbers is not to worry nope. with mixed numbers at all. All I simply wanna do is whenever I'm dealing with mixed numbers is immediately convert them to improper fractions. All we need to do to be able to write a mixed number into an improper fraction is we need to take our denominator, multiply it by our whole number, and then add it to our numerator. So therefore, in this case, I have a two times three, which is six, plus one is going to give me a seven. And then you're gonna put it over your same denominator as your fraction. In this case, I have a three times two times one, which is also going to give me a seven. And though, but now this denominator is going to be over a three. Okay, so now you can see we have two improper fractions with different denominators. Now remember, when we have different denominators, what we need to obtain is like the least common denominator, right? And in this case, that least common denominator is going to be a six. So all I need to do in this case is going to be multiplying by a three on both sides and then multiply a two on both sides. And therefore now, when you multiply straight across, right, I'm now going to obtain a 21 over six plus a 14 over six. And now I can simply just go ahead and add my numerators with my numerator and keep the denominator same to therefore go and get me a 35 over six. Now, when I'm working with fractions, especially fraction operations, I want to be able to use my improper fractions. But I understand there is a context when we like to see things in the mixed number format. So again, we can always just rewrite our answer back in mixed number form if that is going to be the desired result. And one thing I always tell my students as well, like, if the problem is given to you in mixed numbers, well, then make sure your answer is given to you in mixed numbers. And while this might be a little bit more work than actually just adding your mixed numbers and then adding your fractions, I think conceptually, I just make less and less mistakes when I'm dealing with improper fractions than when I do when I'm dealing with mixed numbers. So in this case, all I need to do to be able to rewrite this back into a mixed number is say, how many times is six divided into 30? And then take the remainder and put that over my denominator. So six divides into a 35, five times which is going to have a remainder of five, and then I'll put that over my denominator six. And that is going to be your answer for three halves plus two thirds. 